everyone i hope you're enjoying this new year and having a great time as time passes by we all are constantly running to achieve our endless goal but in this process we tend to forget those small achieved milestones that we once prayed for so this month's theme will revolve around enjoying and celebrating those milestones and to help me portray this will be a small cute squirrel so let's get into the video along with us humans there are thousands of other creatures that have goals to go to find a safe home and settle goal to go for a hunt every day for food and the list goes on in the same way the goal for this squirrel was to find a tree filled with fruits to satisfy his hunger. After working hard for a long time, he finally found the tree and he made it to the top. Now he is taking a moment and is staring at all those fruits. He is enjoying his moment and taking a fresh breath of air. To color the fruits, I'm using a mini red sign pen. Likewise, for the branches, I'm using a brown pencil color as I don't want all the colors to pop up. And for the squirrel, I'm using a black pencil color slightly. Finally, I'm adding the month's name at the top. My word for this month is celebrate. So, I've written it on the top of my code base. The code for this month is Remember to celebrate your milestones as you prepare for the road ahead. And this was by Nelson Mandela. Moving on to the monthly log. I've started by writing the name of the month on the top. Now I am drawing some lines both vertically and horizontally to make my mini calendar for March. And I'm adding the dates into the boxes. After glancing around for a while, the squirrel has now started to pick the fruits with joy. He is unable to control his happiness. The smile in his face just couldn't get more wider. For the colors, I am doing the same exact thing I did for the cover piece. I am adding red color to the fruits and slight color for branches and the squirrel. On the next page, I have made some space for upcoming events goals and achievements for the next braid i've added a brain dump section i've never really used it so it will be great to see where this goes for this i'm simply making a rectangular box and some designs on the edges
On the next page is my mood tracker. As the squirrel finishes picking up the fruit, he now makes his way to his home. He has filled himself with fruits and is making its way to its home. I will be marking my moods on the fruits. For this, I have added indication using colors on the bottom and I have written whether my mood is happy, normal or sad. The next one is my habit and sleep tracker. For the habit tracker, I have made a rectangular box. On the vertical side, I have added indications to mark my habits, whereas on the horizontal side, I have added dates of the month. the same way for the sleep tracker, I have drawn another horizontal box and marked time on the vertical side. As the squirrel reaches its home, it finally settles down and starts to have the fruit. He enjoys every bite of the fruit. The drawing on this page turned out to be quite funny, but it's okay. Even for this page, I'm using the same colors to color fruits, branches, and the squirrel. With this, we have come to the end of our monthly setup for March. And now, let's have a quick flip through of all these spreads. If you have made it till the end, then thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will be able to take some time and enjoy those small milestones and just relax for a while. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!